Hey guys, Ben here, and today we're going to start a new segment that I call Know Your Stuff. And today's topic is why bigger dogs tend to die much quicker than smaller dog breeds. And this is a topic that is very, very personal to me because I'm a huge fan of big dogs. Like, I love big dogs. I want to have a big dog. I I love cats too, but I want to have a really big dog when um, I get older and when I can afford, you know, raising a dog because, like, I'm, like, a broke college student right now and I'm going to be a broke medical student. So right now is not the time, but one day I'm eventually going to get a big dog. And my favorite breed is, of course, the Alaskan Malamute. So the Know Your Stuff segment is basically about common questions that we might have about life in general. And I'm going to go look into the literature to simplify whatever explanation that they have and make it easier for you guys to understand. And I know a lot of you guys really want to know how to extend the life of your furry friends or why your big furry friend has a shorter lifespan than your cat or your little Pomerian or Chihuahua. So that's what we're, what we're going to look for today, what we're going to try and find out and figure out and hopefully you get your questions answered. So the general trend among mammals, and when I mean mammals are animals with mammary glands such as humans, dogs, hippos, whales, tend to be that the bigger these species, the longer its lifespan. So take into account humans. Humans are pretty big compared to the rest of the animal mammal world. And we tend to have an average lifespan about maybe uh, 70-ish years. And elephants have a very similar lifespan to us as well. The blue whale, which is the largest mammal in probably recorded history and even in the largest animal in history period lives about 80 to 110 years now that is a very large number so why isn't it the case that bigger dogs live much longer than smaller dogs and it turns out that although bigger mammals tend to live longer there are differences within species itself so you can see that in humans as well There have been studies where shorter humans tend to actually live longer than taller humans given only if you look at the characteristic of of size. There are, of course, numerous other reasons why people live longer um, in, you know, the human, in, in humans because there's things like diet, nutrition, where you're living, uh, air conditions. So there's so many factors. But if you single out size, smaller humans actually tend to live longer. So take into account that within species, sometimes smaller is better. And in dogs, that's just the case. But why is it that smaller dogs live longer? Now, just to give you a visual of the lifespan of dogs, common house breeds such as the German Shepherd, Uh, Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, Alaskan Malamute Huskies, they tend to live on average 10 to 12 years and 12 is kind of reaching on the high end when it comes to their age. But dogs like Chihuahuas live approximately 17 years and Pomerians 14 to 15 years. Great Danes unfortunately have one of the smaller uh, lifespans which is 6 to 8 years, very sad cry face and wiener dogs which are tiny little hot dog little cuties tend to live around 12 to 15 years like the pomerian so yeah you can see a trend smaller dogs live longer bigger dogs die quicker luckily we might just know the answer because a recent study that was published around 2013 published by the university of chicago and the american society of naturalists suggests that there may be an explanation on why bigger dogs live shorter lifespan. And it just, the reason might actually not be what you are thinking. And if you re- really want to read the full paper, I'm going to have the link to the paper down below. These people will receive all the credit and the views that they deserve because they have done great work in the field of longevity studies in animals. So props to them. Link is down below if you want to read it. There's a lot of jargon, even some jargon that was a little bit hard for me to decipher, but I 
I basically am going to highlight all the most important parts of the study, but feel free to go read about the study if you want to. So the reason why bigger dogs have shorter lifespans may actually not be because of how big they are, but actually because how quickly they grow. And that is really telling because now it's not about the size, but about the rate of their growth, which makes sense because if you look at uh, puppies of huskies and malamutes, they actually start off small and get big very quickly. And little puppies like Pomerians, they don't really grow that much from when they were puppies. So what does that say about what goes on in the body that may limit some a dog's lifespan. So the first explanation on why dogs have to grow so quickly is because of evolution. So evolution always has trade-offs. No matter what kind of evolution it is, something will be given up to gain something else. So take into account the difference between humans and tigers. Humans are smaller than the tiger. We're less vicious, but we do have opposable thumbs and a, and a very complex brain system. Tigers, on the other hand, though they're not as intelligent, are very big and they have sheer amounts of brute force where they can take down prey with their, with their whole bodies. And they have vicious claws that can take down those prey. We humans can't go out into the jungle and tackle an antelope or a deer with our bare hands. But we do have a complex brain so we can create tools and the opposable thumbs is an added bonus to help create those tools. So you see that there are trade-offs between the tiger and the human. And now when you take into account the evolution of big dogs, you can see why there are going to be trade-offs. So big dogs are usually bred for hunting, for taking down prey, to help hunters catch prey, and there's a heavy emphasis on them getting as big as possible, as soon as possible, and to start going hunting on their own as soon as they reach adulthood. So there's a huge, huge emphasis on them to grow quickly and efficiently. However, there are going to be trade-offs when it comes to them growing bigger. For small dogs, there's no emphasis on them growing as big as possible so they can help us out. Small dogs were bred specifically so they can be cute and cuddly little animals that we can keep in our homes and hug and snuggle really well. So there are trade-offs to small dogs as well, but today we're not going to be focusing on that. So we're going to be seeing on what the trade-off is for them growing so big what kind of health defects can they encounter because they grow big so quickly? So the general rule is that the faster something grows, there is a big hit to longevity because it leads to early senescence. And senescence is the scientific term for aging. And what actually causes aging? Let's find out. So the way animals and most other living species grow and age is through something called DNA replication and cell growth. So what happen what has to happen in order for us to grow and you know get older is that our DNA and cells have to constantly replicate. And the bigger we get, the more our cells have to replicate at a faster rate. When you only have to go from one inch to two inches, your cells don't really have to replicate as much. But if you go from one inch to 60 inches in a matter of a month, your cells will have to duplicate as rapidly as possible. And your DNA has to duplicate as rapidly as possible. Now, when our DNA replicates every time, there's always a chance for a mutation. However, we do have enzymes that take place during the replication phase of our DNA that proofreads along the chain to make sure that there are no mutations. However, when there's an increased pressure to go faster, there's a greater likelihood of causing mutations. And unfortunately, although mutations sound super cool and then, you know, the X-Men have the X gene, which make them awesome superheroes, most mutations can actually harm you. And unfortunately for bigger dogs, it harms their lifespan. Another big part about DNA replication is that every time our DNA replicates, our DNA and chromosomes actually get slightly shorter every time, which is one of the biggest theories of why people age is that over time as our cells replicate, re regrow, and make new cells, 
our DNA gets shorter and shorter every time a new cell cycle um, occurs. So dogs, since they are constantly replicating cells much quicker than smaller dogs, their DNA is getting shorter and shorter far more quickly than, short, uh, than smaller dogs are. And finally, with increased fast growth, there are setbacks in structural integrity when, when an animal is growing, which means bones will often take a hit. A common problem that most big dogs have is the eventual decline of their bones in their uh, hind hind bones and this term is called hip dysplasia and hip dysplasia is a malformation in the ball and socket joint of their hind legs because the ball and socket don't fit correctly so what a ball and socket joint is like you have a joint like this and a socket like this and it goes like this together and it's able to rotate freely with hip dysplasia this doesn't fit as well as it can our shoulders is actually a ball and socket joint which allows us to have free range of motion unfortunately for hip dysplasia if it doesn't align properly that can cause some serious is issues later in life so there you have it now you know why bigger dogs tend to live much smaller lives than smaller dogs however don't be saddened because we can't you know do some biogenetic engineering to make them live longer, what we can do is value the time that we have with them. I know when I will get a dog, I will love that little, little, little cutie for the rest of its life. And, you know, it comes down to the quality of life rather than the quantity. Please hold your dogs, kiss them every day, and give them lots and lots of love. I hope this video has helped. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll follow you on the next one.